Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I figured we would explore some of the options of creating drafting documents as pertained to the creation and controlling of ordinate dimensions. I'll also show you a little bit of automation you can do to speed up the job. Let's get started. Here I have a simple plate that has some drillings in it, a couple of pockets. It's very basic. But it's a great example to use for ordinate dimensioning. To create the drawing, you can either right-click on the part in question from your project tree here and choose drafting, or then since the part is open, you can right-click on plate here and choose drafting. Next, I'm going to choose a standard out-of-the-box template to begin with. It's going to be part E ANSI landscape. The software is going to automatically start to create the drawing. Now, here I'm going to choose my main view to begin with, but before I click OK, I'm going to go check one setting down here in the advanced options. All the way down here at the bottom, you have an option called 3D Reference Point. By default, it's set to automatic, which means it's going to project and use the absolute origin point from the design document. Now, if you wanted a different zero, you would choose Manual and go select it in the list here. Now, the items to put in the list would be a frame. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to cancel this, close and not save. I'll go back to design. And maybe here what I want to do is go to construction and create a new frame. Okay? And maybe this frame is just going to be a frame on a plane. It'll be right here at this origin point. And the X direction is X, Z is Z. We're good. Okay? Maybe I'll even go to my entities tree here. And I'll go to frames and I'll name my frame. So I know that this is my zero frame. Perfect. I'll hit save. Now when I create my draft file, we'll see it in the list. So I'll go to that e-size drawing again, go down to my advanced options, manual, and now I'll choose my zero frame. So that's the first way to understand how to control the projected zero. Notice when I do that, the view actually shifts as well because it's shifting to that zero. Let's say that that's the zero we want to use. Now I'll project a front view and a right view. The next thing I want to do is talk about the views themselves. Notice when you hover on them, you can see where your view origin is, but it's not so easy to select it in dimensioning. So what I want to do is make it very obvious that the view origin exists, and we'll do that in the next video. Thank you.